Barbara Streisand is visiting Israel for the first time since 1984. Last night, she performed at a star-studded gala for the country's president. But for the first time, her singing might be overshadowed by her opinion. Charlie Daggett shows us why she spoke out for women's rights. It was an intimate little gathering, just a few thousand closest friends of President Shimon Perez celebrating his upcoming 90th birthday. A-list celebrity kind of friends like Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone, and Bill Clinton, who couldn't resist a little poke at the president's advanced age. We're here to pay tribute to the last living Israeli who knew King David. Barbara Streisand performed an emotional rendition of a Hebrew prayer. <laughs> But it was Streisand's performance a day before that's received the most attention of her visit. While receiving an honorary degree from Hebrew University, the singer touched on one of the touchiest issues in Israel. Distressing to read about women in Israel being forced to sit in the back of a bus, or when we hear about women of the wall having metal chairs hurled at them when they attempt to peacefully and legally pray, or women being banned from singing in public ceremonies. But I'm also pleased to read that things are changing here. Uh, repairs are slowly being made, and that's very good. This is what she was referring to, ultra-Orthodox Jews trying to prevent women wearing traditional prayer shawls and singing at the Western Wall in Jerusalem. The Women of the Wall group campaigned for 25 years to pray on equal terms with men, and in April, a Jerusalem court backed this right. This morning, we spoke with Anat Saragusti, a women's rights activist in Tel Aviv. Barbara Streisand's comment echoes all over Israel. Streisand, who arrived in Israel Sunday as only a superstar can, will be performing a couple of concerts while in the country. That famous voice commands attention on stage and now off it too. She says remaining silent about the violation of women's rights is tantamount to accepting it. For CBS This Morning, I'm Charlie Daggett in London. Extraordinary to yeah. see that. You know, she always speaks up wherever she goes. She's mm -hmm. uniquely herself wherever she is. And quite a gathering for Shimon Perez's 90th birthday. 90th birthday. Yeah.